Good morning, church. I miss seeing you. I'm sure we all miss meeting up in person. But the good news is that Jesus hasn't gone anywhere. He's always with us. In fact, he says that he'll make his home with us and he'll dwell with us. So let's draw near to him this morning. Let's, um, let's invite the Holy Spirit to come. Would you come, Holy Spirit? Would you meet with us this morning? Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Thank you, Lord, that wherever we are, in our homes or wherever we may be praying, that you are always with us. You will never leave us and you will never forsake us. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Would you draw near to us and help us to draw near to you? In Jesus' name. Shall we take a moment to confess anything that we need to confess so that our prayers are not hindered? Let's just take a moment to bring to God anything that we need to confess before him. Lord God, we confess our sin in thought and word and deed. Thank you, God, that your love for us is unconditional. And when we confess our sin, you cleanse us in a wonderful way. And I want to remind us of some verses from Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 10 onwards. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has arrayed me in a robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. So I thank you, God that you have put these beautiful clothes on us, a robe of righteousness, a garment of salvation. Thank you, God, that we are covered with the blood of Jesus and we can come into that holiest place and bring our prayers to you. Thank you, God. And as we prepare to, to bring our, our prayers to God, there's a verse that he's been reminding me of very frequently in the last month, the last few weeks. It's Isaiah again. It's chapter 40, verse 11 on. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. So as we bring our petitions to God, let's remember that we are held in that safe place. We are held close to his heart and he cares for us, cares for us deeply. Lord God, you know that we are going through challenging times. But we thank you, God, that you're always with us. Lord God, you hold the whole world in your hands. And you hold our country in your hands, you hold our town, Croydon, in your hands. And you hold us as individuals in your hands. Lord God, this is a time of humbling because we're no longer in control. But Lord God, you are always in control. Would you help us, God, to trust in you humbly with all our hearts? And in the difficulties, God, help us to draw closer to you. To drink deeply of your living water, Holy Spirit. And to be refreshed. Lord God, I want to pray for the sick. Let's bring before God the names of any known to us who are sick at this time. Lord God, I pray for those with coronavirus, those who are sick in other, with other diseases. Thank you, God, that you hear us as we name these people before you. And I pray, God, would you draw near to each one? Would you visit each one with your healing touch? And our prayer, God, is that you would deliver them from sickness 
And Lord God, whilst they are struggling, would you give them a wonderful sense of your presence, your love, that they will know that you have been with them, that you are with them. And Lord God, I want to pray for those of us and those known to us who are struggling with financial issues, with job issues at this time, because of the upheaval caused by coronavirus. Lord God, you are our good shepherd. And I trust God in your provision. I pray God, um, would you intervene for those who are struggling with finances, with work? I pray God that they would lean on you at this time that they would rely on you and remain in your peace. Lord God, I thank you that you promise that you will provide for your children in a wonderful way. And I thank you, God, for your provision. Would you help all those who are worried, God, draw near and strengthen them. Provide for them, God. In your precious name. And Lord God, as we spend time in isolation, it can mean different challenges for different people. For some people, it can be very lonely. For other people, it can mean being in the home with an abuser. For others, it can mean struggling with childcare and working from home. It can mean struggling with people that you're caring for. But Lord God, you know our individual situations. And Lord God, I trust that your grace is sufficient for each one of us. Lord God, whatever our challenge is, would you strengthen us in our faith? Strengthen us to keep our eyes on you and to trust you. Lord God, thank you that you give us grace for each day, for each hour, for each moment. And I pray, God, would you draw near to those who are struggling. Draw near and give them your touch. Strengthen and help them, I pray, in the name of Jesus. And I'd like to pray for our local hospital, Croydon University Hospital. It's had a high number of patients and we know that staff are working hard and very often they're exhausted. Let's pray for our local hospital and our local community. Lord God, we thank you for our local hospital in Croydon. Lord God, we bring to you all those patients. We've already prayed for the sick God and once again, I just pray for those who are in hospital. And Lord God, we thank you for the wonderful staff who were keeping the hospital running, whether they're doctors or nurses, whether they're cleaners, whether they're delivery men, whether they're cooking for the staff, Lord, whatever they're doing, we thank you for each and every one. And I pray, God, would you draw near to each member of staff? Lord God, they're putting themselves at some degree of risk. And I pray, God, would you watch over them and guard them? Would you keep them from sickness themselves? Keep their families from sickness and help them to trust you? Lord God, would you draw near to them? Would you help and strengthen them? Would you bring times of refreshing when they're exhausted? I pray, God, for those who make decisions about individual patients, about the running of the hospital. Would you give them wisdom, God? May they be led and guided by you. Lord, would you intervene in this, in this whole situation in our local hospital? Would you walk the wards, Lord Jesus, walk the corridors and draw near to each person there? Give them your touch. Let them know that you are near in your mighty name.
and let's pray for our local community in Croydon and particularly in West Croydon. Lord God, thank you for where you've situated us as a church community. And Lord God, we pray for our neighbours, for those who live in West Croydon but who don't yet know you, for those who are afraid and totally lost at this time. Lord God, I pray that you would soften hearts, that you would be drawing people to you. I pray, God, that um, people would be prompted to come in through our doors as soon as we can open, to find us online. And I thank you, God, for those who are volunteering in our local community. And pray, God, that they will take your touch, your love, to those who, who live in Croydon. Lord, I pray for Croydon. I pray, God, that through this time, Many would turn to you, many would realise their need for you, that there would be a wonderful harvest in Croydon, that there would be a wonderful turning to you, that people would come to know and understand that they need, that, that they need you as their God and their Saviour. And as we come to a close... Once again, I've got a passage from Isaiah that seemed very relevant. It's Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, and I'll just read this to you. It says, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. God bless you, church. Bye for now.